New tonight, it's just a big tree for some people, but for one Longmont family, it's a symbol. And they just won the first round in a legal fight to keep it from being chopped down. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen found out that this fight has been brewing for 25 years. It's hard to miss this giant cottonwood tree that just got a last minute stay of execution when the judge approved that temporary restraining order today. City crews had already been out here and marked this tree to be chopped down when the family decided to take their case to court. For some people, it's part of the charm of Old Town Longmont. This is just another tree. I don't know what they should do about it. But for the McDonald family, it's a symbol of something more. We really do feel like it's representing our, our mother's strength and her perseverance in her her massive fight to stay alive. Their mother in the hospital now. Almost 40 years ago, she and their father planted three trees here, representing their three daughters growing strong together. It is so important because I'm going to get emotional, but I mean, obviously we grew up in this house. This is holidays spent picnicking under this canopy of shade. But they unknowingly planted the cottonwood on city right of way. The city would not go on camera but stated for 25 years some neighbors have been complaining about the cotton mess. After receiving a nuisance tree petition, the city finally decided to have this tree removed and replaced with another one. It's aesthetically displeasing to people. And, you know, it just doesn't seem like a good enough reason. So the family filed suit, saying the roots go deep into their property and into their lives. Borrowing from the Lorax, they say they speak for the tree they hope is still standing when their mom gets out of the hospital. That's how much it means to us, you know, and to our mom. The family will be in court on Wednesday to try to save their tree. The city says removal has been postponed indefinitely until the legal issues are resolved. In Longmont, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.